Stop right now if you want to get PS1 emulator on your iOS and Android devices. So guys, uh, I got it here on my iPhone and I've been playing this uh, game called Crash Bandicoot uh, literally all day. Uh, it's the game from uh, 1998. Uh, but guys, this PS1 emulator works perfectly in 2023 and you can go ahead and play it whenever you want. So guys, really, really awesome method. It reminded me of some really, really cool games I used to play. So let's guys start the video how you can get PS1 emulator. Let's go. So guys, to get PS1 emulator on your mobile devices, just follow me. So guys, here it is, PS1 emulator. So let me show you to you guys how it actually looks like. So guys, you can finally go ahead and play all those PM1, uh, PS1 games straight into your phone so you can get into those uh, good old days. Uh, it is guys uh, with the latest uh, resolution and everything. So you, you won't play guys the games in uh, in 144p. Uh, it will be uh, at least 180p. So guys, uh, right now it's loading and it is fully working PS1 emulator. The only working one on the market guys. I went through a lot of uh, them, none of them worked and this one uh, works perfectly uh so yeah guys as you can see uh it's loading right now it takes like over a minute to load so i won't bore you with that let's start the video guys how you can get this ps1 emulator on your ios and android devices so guys the first thing we need to do is to prepare a mobile device for the installation of the ps1 emulator so guys uh if your ios head over to the settings if you're Android guys, you need to prepare a mobile device at all. You can skip guys to the part where you share where you can get PS1 emulator from. So guys, if you're iOS, follow me head over guys to the general, then go to the background app refresh. Uh, and guys here, make sure that it is turned on for Wi-Fi and mobile data. Okay guys, now we need to do a couple more things. So just follow me guys. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and head over after that to the battery settings. And I'm gonna make sure guys that the low power mode is turned off. So because you only want it's on because the battery color will be yellow. So yeah, just make sure it is off. So guys, now after that, we have to do one more thing. So just follow me. So uh, head over guys after that to the general, then go to the about and make sure guys here that the software version or the IS version is IS 13 or above that. So as you can see right now, I'm on the IS 15.7.5. So yeah, just make sure it is IS 13 or above. So guys, now we successfully prepare a mobile device for the installation of the PS1 emulator. All you got to do now, guys, to get PS1 emulator on your iOS and Android devices is to simply head over to the pinned comments down below. There will be the full video where I show you how you can get PS1 emulator uh, and uh, where to get it. It will be super quick, guys, but I can't show it uh, here because the YouTube will ban this video immediately. This is, guys, second time me actually uploading this and they are banning it every time. So yeah, just head over to the pinned comments. Also leave a like uh, in the previous video if this works. Uh, bye for now.